Hi riders. I suspect you've seen a Fitball before. It's not a new thing. And I know that many of my riders have them at home somewhere, in the garage needing to be blown up, given to the horses as a toy, or brought and never known how to use them most effectively for riding. Here's a guide to using your ball to improve your balance and reaction time for better performance in the saddle. Please be safe when using your ball. An open space free from obstacles, especially if you're doing some of the more challenging balance exercises, is essential. Work within your capabilities and work up to harder exercises. The riders I work with surprise themselves with how they can master these exercises and improve their riding in a short space of time. A quick note for people that have ongoing pain. Pain is a signal from our brain that our body is under excess strain and is trying to protect us by making things hurt. Pain does affect your ability to perform tasks like balance, so these exercises might not be appropriate for you until you know more about your pain, what you need to do to specifically resolve it, and how to manage your body. Of course, a physiotherapist that works specifically with riders would be your first place to go to get to a point where you can get the most benefit working on the ball. So let's get started on the ball. First of all, find the right size. You should be able to sit with about a 90 degree angle at your hip and be able to lift your feet comfortably off the ground. Find a comfortable sitting position that feels stable and secure and you're sitting evenly on your bottom bones. We're starting with using the ball to achieve mobility in your pelvis and low back. We're going to roll the ball forward and back using your seat. You're not pushing forward with your legs or swinging your body forward and back, but using your abdominal muscles to pull your tailbone underneath you and your back muscles to push your pelvis out behind you. Your hand on your chest makes sure that movement only happens in your lower body. We can apply the same movement principles to side to side movement. This flexibility is important for giving lateral aids. You can practice lengthening one side of your waist and opening up the hip on that side and repeating on the opposite side without your whole body moving. Now try making a circle with your pelvis, combining the forward and back motion with the side to side and keeping the movement in your lower body. It's a little like a hula, which helps improve your hip and pelvis mobility. Make sure you try it in both directions. The ball also gives us a great way of training independent hip movement, something we need to give clear and consistent aids to the horse. Keeping balanced and centered on the ball, slowly lift one knee. When you get very skilled at this, you'll be able to do it without the ball moving or your weight shifting to the side. Keep practicing. Breathe out as you lift to help you use your deep core muscles. You'll probably notice that you have one leg that's harder to lift. That asymmetry will show up in your riding too, so keep working on it. Ready to try some balance training? We can start balancing in sitting. Initially, just trying to lift legs off the ground in sitting until you can find a balance point and hold it. Of course, once you've found your balance, we like to make it harder. Then you can disturb your balance by rocking your weight side to side and being able to come back to the middle. We can add the challenge of developing reaction ability and feel with the use of TheraBand and a partner. Balancing on hands and knees is not as hard as it looks. Simply rocking two knees onto the ball until you find a balance point and holding it there. If you lose your balance, you can easily roll back onto your feet. When you have your balance, you can look side to side, being aware that that's quite challenging. And for strength development, you can lift your arms and legs, maintaining your balance. This is quite a challenging workout. Finally, you can work up to kneeling balance. Please stay safe with this and work within your capabilities. From your hands and knees position, you can come up to kneeling and then back down. That's difficult in itself. Once you've got your balance, you can make a game out of it. Throwing and catching balls and having someone gently try to push you off while you stay upright. This is not unlike what your horse tries to do to you. Using a ball is a great way of training and this is a guide to using it for training for riding. 
Remember, you need to see a physiotherapist like myself if you have specific pain or problems with your body. Stay safe and work at a lower level first and enjoy the improvements you'll feel in the saddle.